better water industries. Protecting your water. Every well safe, well sanitizer pack includes one bottle of pellets, one bottle of granules, and detailed instructions. In this video, I'll walk you through each of the steps in these instructions. Step one, bypass all service equipment. This includes things like water softeners, iron filters, aerators, reverse osmosis systems, and other drinking water filtration equipment. Step two, remove the well cap or seal from the casing, and if possible, measure the depth of water in the well. Now, in some instances, this will be difficult, making it necessary for you to estimate the depth of water in your well from your well logs or other records. Once you know the depth of water in the well and the diameter of the casing, refer to the chart in the instructions to determine the correct dose of chlorine. Now, as a general rule, it's better to have too much chlorine than too little. You see, too little chlorine puts you at risk of not thoroughly sanitizing the well. With too much chlorine, it's not a big deal. It's just going to take you a little longer to purge the chlorine out of the system. Step three, use a pipe to bypass any obstructions. Typically, a 10-foot piece of 3 quarter inch PVC is a great choice. Now, if it's not possible for you to remove the cap or seal from the well, then you'll need to remove the vent or sanitation plug and insert this pipe at that location. Step four, drop a single pellet down the PVC pipe and verify it hits the water. If you don't hear that classic kerplunk, you may need to reposition the pipe or use a longer piece of pipe in order to properly bypass the obstruction. Once you've verified that the pellets are hitting the water, you can add the remaining pellets down the pipe into the well. Step five, mix the granules in a large clean vessel. Something like a five gallon bucket works great. Now it's important for safety purposes that you do not add water into the chlorine, but rather add chlorine into the water when mixing. Then pour the resulting slurry down the well casing. Step six, connect a hose to a spigot located after the pressure tank and run water into the well casing. After approximately 15 minutes, there should be a strong chlorine odor. If not, repeat steps four and five and add more chlorine. Now, assuming you've added enough product, when you return to step six, you will soon smell chlorine from the hose. Turn off the hose and proceed to run water from every point of use throughout your home and any buildings. Step seven, walk away and allow the chlorine to stand in your system for six to 24 hours. Overnight is preferred. Then after that time has passed, open an outdoor spigot and flush water until no chlorine odor is detected. Then purge water from every point of use in the same manner until no chlorine odor is detected. Now please note, it is very important that the outdoor spigot is used for the primary flushing as this will not send high levels of chlorine into your septic system. Step eight, return all equipment to service position. This includes, of course, your water softener, iron filter, aerator, reverse osmosis system, or other drinking water filtration equipment, as well as replacing the seal or the cap on the well casing. Step nine, after two to three weeks, test your water. If bacteria, iron bacteria, sulfur, or other water problems recur, contact a water professional. Now, it's important to note that in some situations, the sanitizing process will cause naturally occurring iron, manganese, slime, and other organic material to break loose and discolor the water. Now, this can be easily remedied by running water from an outside spigot as described in step number seven. In some rare instances, wells with a large amount of buildup or oxidized particles may experience pump blockage. If water flow is reduced, turn off power to the pump and clear the pump filter screen. Then re-engage power and resume pumping. Do not continue to run the pump if water does not flow. And then lastly, the high level of chlorine used for sanitizing wells is corrosive to most metals 
and must not remain in your system for more than 36 hours. So again, this is the Well Safe Well Sanitizer Pack, and these are the detailed instructions. Remember, it's what your well wants.